About 15 years ago, it occurred to me that for the past century, we've locked all the philosophers on college campuses and we've said basically talk to people under the age of 25 and that's all you can do. And talk to each other, that's fine right. too. But I look back in the history of philosophy, Socrates used to stop strangers on the street in Athens and engage them in conversations about things that really mattered. I think some of the greatest philosophers in every century and every culture have done the same thing. They haven't just talked to other philosophers. They've sparked that philosophical fire in all kinds of people. Not only have they taught people publicly, but they've learned from every kind of person in every walk of life. So it occurred to me about 15 years ago, I think I want to do the same thing. I, I think I want to bring the ideas of the ages, the ideas that have stood the test of time, into people's lives now. There's a lot of ancient wisdom we need in modern life. So uh, I first started giving talks outside the borders of the classroom for uh, the Chamber of Commerce and for Rotary and Kiwanis, all sorts of groups, and now it's become a huge adventure. And I noticed that you're, you're especially successful with corporate leaders who yeah. you wouldn't normally think would have a lot of patience for philosophical ideas. That's right, especially since many of them had a bad encounter with a philosophy <laughs> right. professor in their university <laughs> days. Right. But when they get a hint of how some of the most practical ideas from the great philosophers, as distinct from theoretical philosophy, right. how some of the practical ideas can make a real difference in their workplaces, can give them a, a distinctive edge in business, and, and help the whole enterprise to be more satisfying on a deep level, they really come to philosophy and they keep coming back. It's been really a, a gratifying thing to see.